Welcome everybody, welcome back to the channel and we will be talking about the state of the V Premium meta at the moment and this is obviously before the ban list so yeah, uh, just talking about what is the most impactful over the last season for the Bushiro Springfest and what the metagame for V Premium is currently like and if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe let me know down in the comments what you think about the V Premium format at the moment and hopefully the ban list will change this tier list up. So going through um, each of the clans, the first one being Angel Feather. After the ban to Hamiel, it has dropped drastically, but I think the deck still has potential. Um, it just needs to kind of beat around the bush to kind of be back at where it was. Um, I'm glad it's not as toxic or as dominant as it was before. But I don't think it's completely off the radar, so that's why I'll put it in B. Aquaforce is an A deck um, with the addition of Pursuit Assault, and it only gets better with Battle Siren Adelaide when we get it for the monthly promos. Um, this deck actually becomes really, really good, um, and the deck itself I think is very, very slept on. Um, and Pursuit Assault is very inaccessible at the moment, being in a very expensive PR. Um, which is probably why we don't see much of it but i think the deck as a whole it is very very good bermuda triangle is instant s tier prism is a problem and has been a problem for like the last two years two and a half years um yeah sort it out like this deck is a problem it's shown consistent results it, it got hit it got slapped like on the hand for a little bit but it really didn't do much and Bermuda is literally wreck wrecking havoc everywhere. So, yeah, nothing more to say. I think you guys have seen multiple um, other videos and other analysis on Bermuda Triangle. All over the world, this deck is insane, and there's nothing more to say there. Dark Irregulars. I think Dark Irregulars is actually secretly good, and those who play it will make the deck really good. Shahara Oman has seen a lot of representation in the last Bushiro Springfest um, across multiple regions, especially in Europe um, and I think recently in one of the NA regionals as well. Um, yeah, Amon Shahara is just a really, really good deck, a really solid pick. Um, definitely something I would probably bring to a Springfest. DP. Now, DP is a little bit weird. I think it gets better with the new clan collection, but at the moment, Brad Black into Dalina, Dayusha, Zeal, maybe? I don't know. I think it's just okay. It's not that great. I wouldn't probably bring it to a Springfest. So anything like in the Bs and above, I'd probably bring to a Springfest. So I'd put probably DP in C. Um, it probably shoots up to B once we get reverse Dayusha. Um, I mean, we got Daikaiza. So maybe, maybe it's actually in B, but very low B or high C. So I'll put it in high C, um, but yeah, the deck is just not super great. Grand Blue. Um, Grand Blue is definitely high A. Night Rose is just a solid deck, has been a solid deck for a very, very long time now. Can contend with Prism, and yeah, it's just a really, really good deck. Um, Gear Chronicle. Mm. The latest support was like Steam Maidens. Chronojet's still good. I think Chronojet, um, those who play it will be able to bring this deck up a tier um, because, you know, they know the ins and outs of the deck. Um, yeah, Chronojet is yeah still a really, really good deck. Genesis. Himiko is actually very good now. Himiko with the Regale engine with Yggdrasil and Norn is actually really, really good. Um, being able to lock out your opponent on one damage and then swinging them for 5 damage, 5 damage twice is actually scary. Um, we've seen a lot of Himiko tops and yeah, the deck really justifies itself um, in what it does. So Genesis definitely goes there. Great Nature, unfortunately it doesn't see very much, um, if anything at all. Um, yeah, I think it needs a lot more support, it needs a lot more care. Um, to bring it up even into C, potentially even into B. Um, there's really a lot missing. I think in the new clan collection, Leopold maybe makes this deck a little bit better, but at the moment, yeah, unfortunately it's just no bueno. 
Gold Paladin instant S tier Gurgit with Percival is actually insane. Um, we've seen so many Gurgit representation. The deck is actually nuts. Um, it's probably one of the staples that you would bring for a BSF. And if you're not bringing Gurgit, then you're missing out on a lot. All right. And yeah, Gold. Yeah, Gurgit's just crazy. Um, yeah, Choice Restrict Gurgit with Percival. That'd be great. Kagero. What does Kagero have now? DOTX still, I think. DOTX is still the best deck for Kagero. It didn't really change much with any of the clan collection. Dauntless didn't really do too much. Um, it's just an honest deck, I think. It's a very... It's a, it's a nice deck, but I think the power level has really dropped off in comparison to all the others. So I'll probably put it in C. Um, yeah, the, the deck... Hmm, I don't know. Overlord uh, needs a little bit more support. I think once it gets rebirth, it gets incredibly better. But at the moment, um, all the other decks just, yeah, much better. Messiahs is actually pretty good. Um, Messiahs in V is very slept on with um, Volko um, being able to rush early with Crit 2 um, or Force 2. Yeah, um, this deck is actually really good. Mega Colony, yeah, in V is just... Nah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Giraffa didn't really do too much, and yeah, the, the deck really doesn't do much at all. Um, might as well play premium when it's actually in A. Just play Auto Colony. Murakumo. The latest with Murakumo is like, what? Shiryuki? Yasue is pretty good. Yasue is like low B. I think Yasue is alright, It's it hasn't really lost much of its engine, it got Shiryuki back. Um, I think Yasue is alright, I think we can put it there. Nova Grapplers, Beast Didi is terrible, but Victor is okay. And I think this deck gets much better when it gets Sazanda. Sazanda is pretty good. Sazanda probably pushes this up to B and potentially A. Sazanda is just that good. So I think at the moment it goes in C, but it gets much better with Sazanda once we get it in the monthly promos. Vanquisher. Um, Vanquisher goes in A, I think. Or B. Book Vanquisher. Book Vanquisher is pretty good. I think it goes into B. Potentially low A. I think low A is better. It's still a deck that you have to test against, I think. And it's got on a lot of tops. Um, yeah. Put respect on Vanquisher. And yeah, it's, it's still pretty good. New Nectar. Musketeers ain't doing much. Ash is not doing much. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. New Nectar at the bottom, yet again. New Nectar, yeah, ne ne needs a lot of help. Um, I, I hope the new dragon from the clan collection gives it a little bit more, but yeah. Ne Neo Nectar really needs some help. Nubatama. Dahozan isn't that great. Uh, Magatsu Reverse is alright. But I, don't, I haven't seen much of an impact with Nubatama. So I think it puts it in C, maybe low C. Yeah, there, there hasn't just that there just hasn't been enough impact with that deck, I think. OTT Battle Sisters, not much either. Susano, not that much either. The deck is still okay. I think it goes in B, low B or high C. I think high C is okay just because the representation is Yeah. There, there's not much of it. Pale Moon actually goes into D tier. And I'm being a very honest Pale Moon player, this deck sucks. Like, sure, you have Harry. We don't have Cutie Paratrooper yet. If, if we get Cutie Paratrooper, it probably goes in C. But at the moment, it is so bad. Like, even Harry with Bunnies is not that great. Like, if you're playing Harry Bunnies, you might as well play Gurgit, and Gurgit just does everything better. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Pale Moon is just at the bottom with the other Zoo Clans, unfortunately. 
Royal Paladin is actually pretty good. Jewel Knights is actually pretty good. I think I'll put it high, high B, potentially low A. I think Jewel Knights, even without the Ashley reverse support, it's pretty good. Um, I think a lot of people have been experimenting with this and has seen a lot of tops um, in the last season. So I would definitely rate Royal Paladin somewhere there. Spike Brothers. Dudley Reverse didn't do much. Rising Nova is alright with like the Dudley engine. It's alright. Uh, hasn't seen much representation over the last, you know, season or so. So I think I'll just put it in C. Shadow Paladin. So Raging Form is really good. Luard is still good, even with the hit. So I think Raging Raging Form pushes it up to like here, maybe. I think Darker Regulars can be put... Oh, it Yeah, I think it can be put down a bit lower. I think Raging Form is what makes Shadow Paladin really, really good at the moment for V Premium. Um, and if you're not prepared against Raging Form, you get absolutely blasted. So we see that and we still see Luard tops, you know. Uh, Jonathan Haptism, uh, my WCC boy, ended up coming first place with Luard in Indonesia. So obviously something is, you know, still going on with that deck. And it's still good. So, yeah. Goes into A. And then Tachikaze. Um, I don't actually know much about this particular clan's build in V Premium. But I think it's alright. Um, Spino Drive with Gaia is pretty good. I think it goes in C, but I don't think it can warrant itself being low C, so maybe somewhere in the middle. Um, there's been tops here and there with Tachikaze, uh, but nothing too outstanding. I think we see more of the S and A tiers than we do uh, with the other three tiers. And yeah, that's pretty much my V Premium meta tier list at the moment. Um, hopefully, Bushiroad sorts out Bermuda Triangle as in Prism themselves and Gurgit very, very soon in the upcoming ban list. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments um, what you guys think about this tier list. If you guys need any coaching for BRO or BCS, feel free to hit me up on my Metafy link, which is in the bottom right hand corner, uh, metafy.gg forward slash at Derek Dow for a coaching session. I'm here to improve you guys and your skills at Cardfight Vanguard. So feel free to book a session with me. If you have any concerns on how to book, feel free to send me a message on the platform and I'll be able to help you. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I think I'll be heading to BSF Sydney in a couple days. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.